All right. Hello, everyone. We're back with more FF14. We just met another Gar uh, Garlean who was not uh, completely tempered. You will be received as invited guests, so I urge you to observe proper social etiquette and conduct yourself accordingly. Your safe return takes precedence above all else. Remember this. Thancred, in particular, will be worried sick if you've gone too long. May the fairy watch over you and keep you. It's yours. Are you and the children ready? I will explain the route once we are outside your camp. If anyone attempts to follow us, we will judge it an act of hostility. We will not hesitate to take appropriate measures. I would expect nothing less. You have our full cooperation. Oh, Piamat's an amazing Pokemon. Unstoppable. Pain in the ass to catch, though. Ha <laughs> ha! Pain in the ass. I believe I mentioned it last stream, but I actually really like this snow. The snow. The song. Where do you think their headquarters are? I assume there are a few others besides them, him and this commander he mentioned. We will do as we instructed. After all, this is what we've been striving for ever since we arrived. Alright, this is far enough. Listen carefully. We head over that hill and then follow the road until we reach Limnal Station 4. Children in the lead, I want you where I can see you. We do have names, you know. I'm Alice and he's Alphano. And last but not least, that's there's Miro. Miro? Where have I heard that before? No matter. Alphano and Alice will watch the road ahead while we bring up the rear. I wasn't lying about there being many dangers, so you're to run, not saunter, run towards the station. If you even think about going for your weapon, the deal's off. Should any creature bar the way, we go around them. Yeah, sure. Ready to make the dash for the station? Over that hill, right? Look at this Eblin bear. I'm gonna run right into the Eblin bear. Apparently they can run right by that Eblin bear and it gives no fucks. This must be the road he mentioned. If we follow this, it should lead us to the station. Mini cat, what are you doing, silly? What's up? What's up? We better not draw attention. I mean, that, that yeah, that, that was the plan. The scope of that tower over there. A Jotun. Liminal Station 4. We made it. This is it. The first stop, that is. Good. Looks like your friends knew better than to follow us. Are these your headquarters? No, we're stopping here so I can check for pursuers. Since it appears your ki lot, you've kept your side of the bargain, we can carry on. North of that station is Reggio Domora, one of the main residential areas, or at least it was. The afflicted roam the streets in packs. They'll tear us, tear us to shreds if we, uh, if given the chance. Keep close, no wandering off, understood? Are those better than what I'm wearing? They are. Alright. We 
Did you sleep a page for multiple pages? From here, we'll be heading northeast, keeping to the left of the railway. While the road itself is straightforward, getting past the hordes is unseen as anything but. Keep your weapons at the ready. They would attack their own countrymen? Aye, they spare their own, but slaughter the rest with he hesitation. Though we'll try to avoid detection, the chances of sneaking by are completely unnoticed are slim at best. I will lead the way, but in the event we are seen, you are to fight them off. Those two will follow us, provided they can refrain from drawing their weapons. While well, I doubt they would be foolish enough to stab their guide in the back, I will not take that chance. With that said, let us proceed. Set a spam call, uh, come in on the landline, calling from the landline number. Intriguing. I will say... It is odd to hear of anybody even using a landline these days. Okay, guys. Have a phoenix. Tempered Imperial, you cast haste on it though. It's your parents. Yeah, I figured. It's so odd to hear anybody having a landline these days. Also. How the fuck is my phone getting spammed? Yeah, I gotta turn the volume off on this, guys. I see why your comrades chose you. Ulyss, our contingent has a cure for the afflicted, or tempered as we call them. Your people would need to be taken into custody that we may administer the treatment, but they would eventually regain their sanity. Is that so? For all I know, your treatment would simply force them to forsake one master for another. As far as I and my legion are concerned, they are no longer our people. They are beyond saving. Those who th thought differently and tried to reason with them were butchered for their bleeding hearts. Come, we have to keep moving. Wow. That kind of sucks. My ignorance is as good as your knowledge. Got it. Look at this. Toppled train. Hey dudes. I know what you guys want. You want to get hit by Ifrit. I can I can actually help with that. I like how these guys are doing nothing to fight. That's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll take these guys out all by myself. It's cool. On the snow piercer. Looks like we're not being followed. We will continue onward. I feel like we don't need to be followed as we keep getting attacked by people who apparently aren't following us. I don't know why, but every time I go through this area, I always want to play The Last of Us. Oh, look, they fought! I meant what I said. These people deserve only death. I stayed my hand before out of only out of the desire to remain undiscovered, and that is still the higher priority. We should continue to avoid unnecessary confrontations. Keep following the railway. And this guy's rude. This gate area makes you want to play Frostpunk? I've never played Frostpunk or even really looked at it. What kind of game is that? I think I own it though. Yeah, I do own it. <laughs> it's a hardcore colony survival game. They should make like an FF14 builders game like Dragon Quest Builders. The fuck? You said to follow the tracks. Why are you way over here off the tracks fighting with these dudes? Oh, wow. These ones are... Uh... These ones look like they've been afflicted by C Cthulhu. The fuck? Oh, 
Or an FF14 Grand Strategy game like Europa Universalis. I mean, they could, like, do that easily. There's enough nations where they could just, like, have it built up and, like, you could just have Garlemald take over the world or something. Look at what they've become. Would you still stand there and claim that they can be cured? Those ones, not so much. Those exposed to a vast quantity of a primal's ether may suffer severe corruption. Even with treatment, such victims are beyond salvation. Then you admit it. Now that you've seen those monstrosities for yourself, perhaps you'll think twice before speaking of a cure. D what? Excuse me? Does this man... He didn't hear at all what we said? Eulis, I dare say you need to be a swift punch right in the mouth. I'm actually surprised that the trains aren't complete, like the tracks aren't completely covered in snow. We're almost there. You have kept your side of the agreement, so I will keep mine this way. <laughs> your ignorance is as good as uh, my ignorance is as good as your knowledge. Yes and no. Um, in a way, yes, that's kind of what he's saying, but also you got to realize these people do not trust anybody outside of Garlemald. They are Garlians, and they are superior to everyone else. This is Tertium, one of Garlemald's largest stations. It now serves as our headquarters. I've already sent the twins ahead. I will be with you soon. So wait for me at the bottom of the stairs. They are garlic bread. Hey there, Theodora. Just sitting out here. Never did chance. 179 yelms to the northwest. I haven't been putting much effort into getting all the flight points in that, guys, just because we're not going past the end of the MSQ for Endwalker, so there's not a huge amount of reason to do so. The first division game? I could see it. I like the first division game. I haven't finished the second one, I need to get back to that. It's plain to see why they chose this area as their base of operations. They could have done a lot worse. Even so, I imagine it's not the easiest place to live. Indeed, and if Eulis was willing to make the perilous journey to Camp Broken Glass in search of food, their own supplies must be all but exhausted. They may be shielded from the wind and snow, but it's but it's still bitterly cold. Much like Victor's spoils, it must be a constant struggle to keep their people warm. Lower your voices. While you may be here as my guests, the others will not take kindly to your presence. My commander is in the locomotive over there. I mean, it even has a train station, so, you know, I could see that. That person is Decimus. Can I attune to this Aetherite now, or...? I'm told that this place has an Aetherite. It's not responding. Okay, we can't respond. We, we, we can't attune to it yet. Alright. Hey there, imposing commander. Well, look, he's just like uh, one of the judges from FF12. I will deal with you in a moment. Okay. These are their chosen representatives. Very well. Let us hear what they have to say. Yes, sir. I present to you our commander, Lord Quintus Van Kina. Legatus of the First Legion. The First? I had no idea you had survived. We lost our Emperor, our city, more than half our troops. For my wounds, I may never take the field again. 
But we survived. I. In a manner much to your liking, I dare say. We have no intention of adding to your misfortunes, nor do we bear you any ill will. Spare me. Though you children may speak in earnest, overtures of peace ever ring hollow in my ears. So long as man stands to profit from his neighbor's suffering, war is inevitable. Driven from our ancestral homeland into this blasted waste. Yet still you yearned to rob us of our paltry scraps. It was only with Magitek that you learned to keep your distance. Though we knew it was only a matter of time before you regrouped and returned. Conquest and Empire were our only defenses. Emperors Solus and Varys understood this, and through their campaigns saw us grow and prosper. Much blood has been spilled in Garlemald's name, aye. But if it is a choice between yours and mine, then it is hardly a choice at all. I do not deny that a great many conflicts throughout history were driven by the desire or necessity to gain by another's loss. That is not why we are here. Nor have we come to petition your aid in the war with the Telophoroi, grave though that threat may be. Our purpose is simply this. We wish to help you. Let us help you. If there is aught that can be done to ease your plight, we would be glad to do it. Perhaps you would. But regardless of the ideals you espouse, your leaders would not send an army into Garlemald if they did not stand to benefit. If we accept their aid, they will expect their efforts to be rewarded once the Telophoroi are no longer a threat. And after compensation and concessions, the great empire would be brought to heel. Her enemies rejoice at her downfall. Our third eye, a mark of shame. We won't stand idly by and let your people be humiliated. And we're not alone in that. We only want to make a difference, to make this world of ours better. Surely you can understand that. What I'm trying to say is, there are so, so many people who just don't care about making you suffer. And maybe that's almost insulting after all the suffering you feel the world has subjected your people to, but. Believe it or not, that's the truth. And now we're here, and all we're asking is for you to tell us what you want, what you hope for. So much blood has been shed, so much lost, all because of this endless war. Who wouldn't want to end it? Can we not work together to face our problems as one? Answer me this, young peacemakers. If a world without conflict is your desire, why reject the unity and prosperity of Garlemald? Is it because we do not share your faith? That we do not share your heritage? That our ideals and virtues differ? that we cherish and hold in the highest that which you do not. Disparity is the root of discord, and peace built on compromise is flawed and fleeting. Happiness for one and all is a dream, and the reality is that to the victor go the spoils. That is why we Garlians will never submit nor surrender. 
For freedom and for pride, we will remain true to ourselves until the bitter end. That is my hope. It seems there is nothing more to say on the matter. You will remain here while I decide what is to be done with you. Do not be alarmed. No harm will come to you, if you cooperate. We will not resist. However, as your guests, I ask that we be allowed to speak with the other members of your group. As you wish. I had no intention of locking you up, as by dawn you would be frozen stiff and you're no good to me dead. You are free to move about the encampment, but there is one condition. Collar them. What are these? Incentive. You'll be watched at all times. Stray too far or act suspiciously, and we will administer a rather painful shock. Stop. Keep away from that one. The champion of Eorzea is not so easily cowed. Even if she allowed herself to be collared, the shock would be no more than an itch. No. If she refuses to obey, we will activate the twins' restraints instead. You needn't worry about us. We'll forget we're even wearing them soon enough. Even now, you still... <laughs> Why go to such lengths? What is it all for? The demon in the most bitter I've ever seen may see, uh, one day see reason. On the coldest blackest nights, meager though it may be, we must share the warmth of our fire. You are a curious one. A far cry from the merciless barbarian others paint you to be. You will be their warden. Take them away. Yes, sir. <laughs> you should run off so they shot. <laughs> Alpha now? Yeah. Oh, this is unlockers. Can I need to undo this now? Alright. Persona non grate. As per Lord Quintus's instruction, I am to supervise you during the time you're here in Tertia. Before you ask, no, I don't have a key or any means to remove your collars. Nor would I tell you if I did. And if you try anything, you'll soon wish you hadn't. So, do you truly intend to speak with the others, or was that merely a ruse? We're in no hurry, hurry, uh, hurry to disobey Lord Quintus, if that's what you mean. Or perhaps you doubt the wisdom of his decision? No, he just really wants to shock you, Alphano. Do as you will, but remember, I'll be watching. 
If I catch wind of you doing anything untoward, trying to trick our people into turning their coats and the like, those shock collars will be the least of your worries. Understood? Though we're somewhat compromised, to put it lightly, let's not waste this opportunity. I suggest splitting up and learning what we can of their situation. And above all else, don't use magics of any sort. You, on the other hand, may go wheresoever you wish. Even outside the camp. I know full well I couldn't stop you if I tried. But do not forget, if you do anything to endanger us as, or our interests, Alphano and Alice will pay the price. Hey there, Octavia. You look like you have a, a, a warming outfit on. It's you, Miro Prentice! I, I served under Lord Gaius in the 14th Legion. I was there on the night the Praetorium fell. You and your adventurers, you killed them. My comrades, my friends, swept them aside in their dozens as though they were nothing to you. And maybe I am too, just another faceless enemy to be cut down. But it won't be long until our countrymen return, until you get what you deserve. Mark my words. Did you forget that you were trying to take over Eorzea? Yeah, shame on us for defending ourselves. You killed my friends, stopping them from murdering you. So, so cold. The young soldier's on the verge of losing consciousness. All right, well. Hey, you. Fix my shit. Okay. He's not going to do that. Marcellinus. I know who you are. The so-called champion of Eorzea. Come to gloat, have you? I'll wipe that smirk off your face. By the blood of our fallen compatriots, I swear I'll... <clears throat> Damn. Toy the sutures. Of all the times, the worst of the lot within striking distance, and I can't even muster the strength. If it weren't for the third bleeding us, we'd be the end of you. Virgilia's treachery nearly cost Lord Quintus his life, but we made our escape, took shelter at a mansion, tended to the wounded as we prepared to strike back, and then night fell and we gathered around the radio. Then the roar, the terrible roar. The capital was in chaos, but we were spared. If you can call this a mercy, mind intact but body broken, a soldier in name alone, I'd cut you down where you where you stand if I could, murderer. Oh, they have a lot of love for me. I mean, I get it. I I do inspire a, a lot of uh, feelings in people. I thought the person's name was Poopy at first. This Flavius. Hey there, Cecil. You came with Eulis, didn't you? Well, whatever business brought you here, you'd best keep your hands off that Aetherite. It's deactivated, but I'd rather you didn't mess about with it. There are others throughout the city, but built by Garleans. Four Garleans. Could teleport all over the bl in the blink of an eye. Provided there was a terminal nearby. These days, however, we use the Aetherite's power to keep this place lit. Though that comes at the cost of its normal function. That explains a lot, actually. Hey there, radio. What's going on? This radio is the same model as the one who used the Victor's Boils. Perhaps it is what saved the soldiers here from being tempered. Yeah, off now. Did you learn anything of note? Yeah, they really hate me. Uh, then your findings are consistent with my own. Their plight is desperate indeed. The sick and injured are at a greater risk without warmth and proper nutrition. I fear they will soon perish. I realize there is pressure little, precious little we can do for them at present, but I cannot bear to see them suffer. Please, will you help me tend to them? I mean, I could, but I could also not do that. Oh, good. We get to go tend to Flavius first. Hey there, Flavius. What's going on, bud? You look like you're not doing great. Who's there? My eyes. They... I can't see all that well. Thank you. The numbness has subsided a little. And I know, I won't last much longer. You should look to the others who can still fight. Give them my ration. If I'm going hungry means somebody else lives to see another day, so be it. At least I can still serve in that way. Alright. Well, folks, 
it is actually break time now, so let's take another break, and I will be right back. I'll let you guys stay with this uh, image of the train. Don't go anywhere. 